years old, and I'm a chef. Teaching the new generation, young kid, how to appreciate food, give them an opportunity to understand what is cooking. I learned how to make gnocchi. They came, they are very shy. When I first tried here, I was nervous. But when I started cooking, I felt better. First, I had to peel um, whole potatoes, and then we mixed it with eggs, cornstarch, and flour. We have to smash the, all the ingredients together. And we mushed it with our hands. To have them in the potato, mash the potato, with the flour, with the eggs, we really have hand home. Like, like Play -Doh. It became a big ball of dough and then we rolled it out like curly pasta. After roll it, I mean they, I want them to have a feeling. And then we cut it. And then we did this like rolling thingy to make an imprint on it. And we let it cook for a little bit. And we cooked it in water. The one he's doing that with. And we put oil on it and then cheese and it tastes really good. I really want them to appreciate uh, food more and more and more. And for that, you need to uh, understand cooking. The chef is really a good teacher because he, he, he's very powerful and he does not let those kids make mistakes. He's kind of like a professional. You know, chef, it's really to give a pleasure to people and happiness. So I'm very happy to do that for the kid too. Do you think kids can be a better cook? Because I do, because with a little of grown-ups helping it and instructions and ingredients. I think it depends on what they're cooking, because most adults have more experience. Because kids know how to cook, they, they could make a meal tonight for their parents. I'm gonna cook Snowy at home. Well, I don't know if the kid can do a better cook. I think kids have fun, you know? I think kids love to cook, you know, and they love to eat now, you know. So maybe. It tastes amazing. Sort of like a pasta that's really buttery. It's delicious. You know, but sometimes we forget about kids. You know, and there's a there's a next generation, you know, there's a future for us. So we need to train them very well and, and give them some good base, you know, to be good in the future and be good for the planet.